What's up? This is Janae Marie, and I am back with the part two uh, book reading for my uh, fourth book called Bessie's. And I'm replying to Yo Yo Brown's 502's comment who says, I need to hear more. So, without further ado, sis, here is your more. So, but if you have not, uh, but if you have not watched my first video, you should go back and watch the first video because it's uh crazy so uh just do a quick recap um crystal who is my main protagonist in the story has her has plans on renewing her vows for her husband kevin but instead of renewing her vows for her husband kevin she finds him sleeps uh screwing her best friend and not only that not only that her best friends was sleeping with her husband, her best friend is also pregnant by her husband. So, <laughs> that right there is not a great friend at all right now. <laughs> so, but what I did with chapter two is I took it back. So, back to their college days. So, you could just see, just see how messy Trish really is. So, um, in chapter two is called best friends right <laughs> okay so uh chapter two best friends and this is when they're uh they're actually like back in college so i took it back a little bit so i remember our days at spellman just like it was yesterday amanda trish and i were at the hottest party of the semester there were cuties all over from the football and the basketball team and let's not forget the cues in the kappas that is how i first met kevin little did i know he'd be a snake too uh trish was the life of the party guys everywhere would flock to her i was more reserved and laid back but i didn't let that stop me from having a good time we were all scoping the room for a guy i spotted the guy from the basketball team coming over to where i was standing hello miss lady how are you the basketball player uh questioned he had the prettiest eyes i had ever seen of course, this is way before I met Kevin. I'm I'm great. Thanks for asking. I answered I answered shyly. I'm Raul. What's your name, beautiful? He asked with the most perfect smile I had ever seen. This guy was very easy on the eyes. Tall, caramel complexion with uh brown eyes. I was in heaven. As we engaged in the conversation, here comes Trish with her flamboyant self. Hey girl fake <laughs> so fake right she she shouted she shouted obviously drunk hey raul hey raul this is my friend and my uh roommate trish nice to meet you um uh, trish i had been drinking so much punch my bladder was about to explode i excused myself and ran straight to the bathroom but when i returned to the party i noticed no familiar faces i searched top to bottom for trish and raul and couldn't find them anywhere I decided to find Amanda. She had been dancing with a guy from her chemistry class. I whispered to her that I couldn't find Trish. I didn't care. I didn't care about finding Raul anymore, um, cause it was getting pretty late. But and I had an eight eight a.m. class. The time was a quarter past one, and people were slowly um, beginning to dissipate. While Amanda and I were still at the party, we couldn't leave because Trish drove us here. She was our fucking ride. Where the hell was our damn roommate? Try calling her cell phone, Amanda said in a panicked tone. I'll try. I I called her phone, but it went straight to voicemail. Um, Amanda, she's not answering. What the hell do you mean she's not answering? You mean she just left us here? Looks like. That bitch. I can't believe she left us on the other side of town and didn't even tell us. How could she do this? How are we going to go? How are we going to get back to school? Amanda asked. How much money do you have? We're going to have to get an Uber or something. Amanda was furious. And I don't blame her. She left us. She left us at a party all by ourselves. She left without telling us. Uh, see, I don't know why I didn't realize how self-centered Trish really was. I, I guess I really was blind. 
Me and Amanda pulled together our cash and ordered an Uber to get back on campus. We made it back in 20 minutes and thankful to be safe. As we reached our dorm room, Amanda planned on cursing Trish out for leaving us. <laughs> Once we stepped in, I saw Raul coming out of her room, buckling his belt while Trish is standing there in some lingerie. I stood there in total disbelief. She left us for a damn dude. I didn't know whether to be pissed at this bitch for leaving us at the party or because she slept with the guy I was trying to get with. I tried so hard to hold on to our friendship over the years that I look back and wonder why I ever befriended her in the first place. Oh, oh hey, what's up, Crystal? Right, we'll ask, right, we'll say, as he left our room. How could you leave us at the party? We were there all alone with no ride to get to get home. We had to pay for an Uber. You need to fuck up the cash and pay us back, Amanda said. So, what's the big deal? Y'all got home, didn't y'all? No one said I had to take y'all home. Just because we arrived together don't mean we have to leave together. Trish uh, spat out with an attitude. You little bitch. Anything could have happened to us. You don't even care about us? Look, Amanda, you need to chill. No, you need to chill before I whip your ass. How could you how could you sleep with Raul? You saw me talking to him, I interjected. So it wasn't like that was your man or anything. All guys are up for grabs. Not my fault he liked me better. I won, you lost. Now if you don't mind, it's late and I'm about to get some sleep. Trish walked away and closed her door. And Manza and I just looked at each other in disbelief, shook our heads, and turned in for the night. Okay. So that is the end of chapter two. So, recap everything. Amanda, Trish, and Crystal are at, you know, a college party. That's what college students do. But my whole thing is, I I live by the term, we arrive together, we live together, we leave together, right? So she, I mean, <laughs> not only does she leave her roommates without telling them, she leaves them for a dude, the dude that she saw Crystal talking to first. But, you know, you know, it just shows that, you know, Trish has no, absolutely no loyalty, right? So, <laughs> I'm just saying, Trish is a little dirty, and it, it, this is just the tip of the iceberg. It gets a lot more crazier. So, if you want me to continue reading on, please uh, comment down below and let me know your thoughts, what you thought about this. And also, if you would love to uh, get a copy of Bestie's uh, for yourself, go to my website, JanaeMarieBooks.com. Uh, you will get an autographed copy. JanaeMarieBooks.com is the only place you can get free autographed copies from me, the author. So, again, I would love to know your thoughts. Tell me, have you ever encountered a Trish in your life? Have you ever had a friend that was just sad as a backstopper? <laughs> just tried to sleep with your man? Just oh my god it gets even worse it's not only that she's just fake she's she's just, just a, a freaking hater so it gets a lot more juicier so just let me know if you want me to to continue on it i will come back with a part three all right and again my name is Janine marie this has been part two of uh bessie's book read and again um stay cognizant of who you consider to be your friends because not everyone is your friend okay all right peace